How have you seen Jace and Roy Dell continue to establish themselves as leaders in the running back room, and what is the next step in each of their developments? You know, Jace has been a really good leader. Roy Dell has always, you know, set a really good example. He's a good special teams player as well as a good runner. Uh, Jace has really stepped up and set a good example, and I like all those guys. I think they all have great attitude, and uh, I think that's one of the strongest positions from a depth standpoint on our team. Growing up in Texas, you know, everything's about football. Like, since I was like four years old, I grew up playing football. In high school, you know, it's like everything you expect. You know, the bright lights, big crowd. You know, everybody want to come to the game on Friday. You know, that's what everybody talks about during the week. Town is a great place, uh, great people. It's a great community. It was just being close to home, man. I wanted to come win. Right in the running back room, we had Nas, we had B-Rob. We had Mack in the quarterback room. Uh, Devontae, Waddle, there was a lot of great guys here that set the standard. As I came in as a freshman, it was like, okay, here's what it looks like. This is what I need to do. Want to work, want to come here every day, want to be one of the greatest. I know these guys are going to develop me to the best person I can be, you know, character-wise, you know, player-wise. So that's why I ultimately came here. I got hit in my foot. I was right on the sideline, so I crawled off. It was telling me to get up. And I got up. I was standing, I knew something was wrong. It really felt like I just like bruised my knee. They told me in the back, I uh, told my ACL. Uh, when I saw him go down in the old Miss game, it was like, you know, it's time, it's go time now. We go over it and practice. We go in the mean room, when one guy down, another guy's up. You always stay intact, stay, always stay focused, stay into the game. Uh, you never know when your number's called. From their own eight yard line, here's the snap, here's the give. Running room, Roy Dell Williams. He'll get a first down out to the 19 yard line. He made a cut and uh, he fell. And I, obviously, I didn't think it was like ACL either, but I seen him hold his knee. And I was praying that it wasn't, but then they came back and he told me he did the same thing. We had an inside zone play, saw green gas, and I bursted, tried to make an upfield cut, pop, pop, pop. Never had an injury like that happen, and it was like, didn't feel right. They had to cart me off and kind of start from scratch. The recovery process is just a grind, man. Coming in day in, day out, uh, morning time, after practice, before meetings, it's, it's constantly, constantly going, rehab, training, lifting. His tear was a little different than mine, so he got progress a little faster than I did. So when I was uh, getting my movement back, he came in, he was getting his movement back, so I was a little jealous of him because he was getting his back faster than mine, but they told me not to worry about it because it was two different tears. It was kind of crazy because it was like, both played the same position, both going through the same injury. Sometimes we'll ride together to treatment sometime and we'll do treatment together and then we'll go to meetings together and see how we feel then. What, what did you do differently that I need to probably do to, you know, work on my knee? Seeing that you're not alone, somebody else going through the same thing, just having somebody with you there, it was very positive. Uh, our relationship, man, hey, that's a strong bond. I just appreciate him doing what he do. We come in each and every day, want to compete. No hate, no nothing. When I first got here, you know, uh, Rodell was like one of the first people I like talking to, going through the same thing as a freshman, working to try to get on the field, working to show what we're capable of. Since then, we've just been getting closer and closer. I just appreciate the way he comes to work each and every day, ready to compete out there on the field. The leadership council is the guys on the team that Coach Saban thinks knows what to do. Most of my leadership style is about action, you know. Show guys how to work, show guys what to do, and, you know, that's how I lead my group. We have this little thing called uh, Bama Sci-Fi, and it's like a brotherhood. We come together, we do things together, bowling, maybe paintball, and just things to connect with each other so it'll be just more than football, you know. I'm really pretty good at bowling. I say I'm probably the best on the team. Don't tell nobody else that, though. Since we got here at Top Golf, what was your highest score? Oh, I told you I was gonna get him. That baby look good. Nah. Mm-hmm. That she is. You ain't know I can do that neither. Look. 
Yet we also have distinct experiences that stay with us for a lifetime. Powerful moments that shape us, become etched in our memories, and are shared with others. Roy Dell Deshaun Williams. Oh, it was a great feeling. I had my family there with me. It was just, everyone was proud. Said a moment with mom, said a moment with pops. Uh, my brother and all my family was there, man. It was just a, a moment that I will always remember, man. I just really loved it. Jace Armon McClellan. You know, coming across that stage, you know, hear my name and call as a graduate, hear my family cheer. That feels great. Graduating, going across the stage with them, it's kind of crazy. It was like, all right, reality's hitting, it's done. To represent this program is just a, it's a blessing to just to be here in this position. The guys, the coaches, the school is a great school. What I want my legacy to be is people remember how dedicated I was, how I did anything to get the job done and made the team win.